Sona, I'm just curious. I wanted to check in and see how you were doing. Are you anxious to get back to work, to get back to the no. office? Do you want to take more time to? No. Do you miss seeing me every day? Seeing no. Me... Do you? No. There is a source of stress at work. He uh, knocks food out of my hands. Hey, Conan. Oh, hey, Sona. What's going on? I'm just enjoying some cookies. Oh, where'd you get them? I got them from the green room. Oh, they look absolutely delicious. No. <laughs> we do have an HR guy uh, on staff. I mean, I could go get him right now. Do you want to talk to our HR guy? Let me get the talk. HR guy. Here, hold on a sec. No. What's up? I'm from HR. What happened? My boss sucks. <laughs> Tell me what he did. Well, he made fun of me. He was talking about making fun of me and snacking food out of my hand. Did he knock food out of your hand? Yeah. What kind of food? Like if I'm eating a, a cookies or a brownie or uh, something. You don't even, uh, that sounds funny. He sounds like a funny guy. He sounds like a good guy. I think he's a good yeah. guy. He's a good boss. I got to go. Got to see you. How'd it go with HR? This is the stuff I miss. You know what? I'm on 5% battery. You knew that I was going to be uh, checking in on you, and you're only on 5% battery? I am. I didn't plan accordingly. You should write a book called I Didn't Plan Accordingly, The Sonom Obsession Story, because you never plan accordingly. Or maybe I want this Zoom call to end, so maybe I'll just let it die now. No, why don't you go get the cord, and I promise to say nice things about you while you're gone, OK? OK, right back. I'll yeah. No, it's okay. She knew that we were gonna have this Zoom call. Now she's wandering around her house to try and find a cord that should have been plugged in long before this scheduled interview with her employer. Oh, hey, how are you? I, I was just telling people about your brave journey from Armenia to this country. <laughs> What is happening there? I'm having so much trouble right now. I would say you're at home, and so it's harder for you to match your professionalism that you have at work, but nothing's changed. <laughs> Can you see me laughing at you? <laughs> Are you attack getting along well? I know you're newlyweds and you're still in the honeymoon phase, but some uh, couples experience friction. I mean, I think the biggest issue we had was he groomed our dog himself and cut her hair too short. And now I'm a little upset about that. Come here, baby. Okay. Oh. It probably just looks too short to you. I'm sure it's fine. Ah! Oh! Oh my God! It looks like a dog at Chernobyl. Are you cooking a lot? I'm not baking as much, but you know, I, I haven't had chocolate in a really long time because I gave it up for Lent. I don't understand why people are doing Lent to, to praise Jesus when Jesus loosened this plague upon us. Jesus did this. I don't know if Jesus did this. And wasn't it a bat? Jesus made the bat. The minute Jesus opened his robes and loosened a plague upon the land, I'm like, you know what? No, 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 no. You don't get your Lent this time around. Yeah, I've never seen you do Lent. I and always do Lent. I give up things. What are you? Uh, this up? year, I gave up giving you a hard time. <laughs> what? My favorite thing that you do sometimes is when you're like, you know what? I'm going to be nice to you from now on. And it always lasts for about 30 seconds. It's the longest you've ever gone without being a complete dick. Oh, come on! <laughs> you can stop yourself from being a dick for like 30 seconds. And then it's back to, back to the races. <laughs> <laughs> back to the dick races? <laughs> yes. I'm just you're picturing, I'm just you're picturing a bunch of dicks on a racetrack. Just like doing the worm. Do they have jockeys? Yeah, well, there are smaller dicks riding bigger dicks. And they're 
doing the worm really fast around a track, and a guy's going, Ah, that cock's coming up around the corner, but here comes the old dickaroo. You're never coming into work again, are you? No. Can you at least pretend to hold a piece of food and I can pretend to knock it out of your hand? Because I think this is a healthy thing for both of us. What you got there? These are biscuits, and I'm so excited. I've been waiting a really long time to eat these. It's really nice talking to you. I do miss you. I miss you too. And you know, if we do go back to the office, um... you'll you'll be more professional. You'll be more grateful for the job you have because you've lived through a time when you haven't had it. Well, no, the internet's breaking up. <laughs> oh no, I can't hear you or see you anymore. That's too bad. Sonam Obsession, everybody. Thank you, Sona. <laughs>